Josh. Hi, Brent. How are you both? I'm doing Good. great. How are you? Doing well, thanks. I happened to see the video on Facebook last night of the glamping tent, and I want one. Oh I know. It's amazing. How did Under like it? She loved it. And you know, it actually got a little bit chilly here last night. It got down to about 47 degrees. And so she snuggled up really closely to me. Um, oh. So uh, it was perfect. I, I don't know if she can go back to her day-to-day -day life now. I don't think I would be able to either. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you both so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Sure. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. You know, a lot of people dream of leaving the hectic city life behind, and you actually did it. How hard was it to do, and was it an easy transition? Well, we actually call ourselves accidental goat farmers because, you know, we were two city guys who were traveling in upstate New York just, you know, as a weekend getaway, and we fell in love with a farm called Beekman Farm, and we bought it just on a whim, and we, and we took in a neighboring goat farmer who needed a new home for his goats, and then in 2008, we both lost our jobs in the recession. So we turned to the goats, we started making goat milk soap and goat milk beauty products, and that's how we saved the farm and started our company. I love that goat video, by the way. It's so adorable. Oh, <laughs> thanks. You know, with the busy summer travel season upon us, do you have any tips you can share with us on how to plan the perfect trip? Yes. First tip is don't overpack. People, people might remember us from the amazing race where we ran around the world and, and we actually won. And that's when we learned you can go around the world with nothing more than a backpack. So we say tip number one, pack your suitcase with everything you think you need and then take one third of it back out. And a lot of the times when you're packing, the thing that takes up a big bulk of your suitcase and causes a lot of holdups in TSA security are all of your uh, shampoos and your shower gels and Skincare your soaps and things and like that. And um, so call ahead or look online to the hotel that you're staying at and see what products they use in their rooms. We just redesigned all of the products for Country Inns and Suites. So if you know if you stay at any of their hotels, you're gonna get Beekman products. But call ahead and see what they're using because they may actually be using things that are better than the things that you're bringing along with you. Uh, so you don't even need to pack those things and that will save you a lot of hassle. And what should travelers look for when selecting the best places to stay on the road? Well, Brent and I, you know, we started our company in the midst of a recession, so we are incredibly budget-minded. That means cheap. That, yes. <laughs> and, uh, and so my criteria is free hot breakfast. It has to be hot. And my criteria is free Wi-Fi. Yes. Yeah, so b between those two things, that's, that's how we choose where we stay. Um, and then you get to spend that extra money on shopping. And we're sitting here in the middle of Beekman Farm in Sharon Springs, New York, and uh, Country Inns and Suites built these glamping tents that you see behind us. And, um, and let me tell you, they had free Wi-Fi, so I was golden last night. That's awesome. Do you have any additional tips or information to share with us? Well, you can find out all kinds of tips if you go to countryends.com or if you want to find out more about Beekman 1802 or watch the live goat videos, uh, beekman1802.com. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Brent. I really appreciate you both taking time out of your busy schedule to speak with me today. Have a great afternoon and enjoy your glamping tent. <laughs> Thanks, Candace. Uh, thanks, Have Candace. a great summer.